Hi, I'm Steve Tag, and thanks for joining me here on The Road to Fitness. In order to monitor your workout pace and effort, you need to be familiar with the digits you're looking at on the screen. Let's go over your display options and see what all those numbers represent. To turn on the monitor, press any button or just start to row. The home screen will pop up and will give you some options on the right side of the screen. Just hit the top button for now, just row. This is the screen that will show you all the information during your row. The Units button on the bottom left of the monitor gives you a choice to view your workout in watts, calories, or meters. I'll explain rowing with watts and calories at another time, but for now, make sure you select meters. You should see a section of the display that shows slash 500 meters. Now that you've made sure that you're working with meters, let's take a look at the screen options. The PM5 gives you five different screen options and displays to select from, and you can choose by scrolling through them using the display button at the bottom of the monitor, or by choosing one of the five buttons along the right side. The buttons offer a much faster way to make your selection, so let's go through those. The top button is the All Data screen. Let's go through this display to give you a better understanding of what all those numbers mean. The top left of the screen will display the time or distance that you have left in the row. If you're doing a 2,000 meter row, it will show 2,000 at the start and then count down as you row. If you've selected a time to work out, the screen will count down the time instead of meters. The number in the upper right shows your strokes per minute. This is your cadence. It's similar to RPMs on a wheel and shows your current stroke rate in real time. The largest number on the screen is your current split time, which shows just how fast you're going, and that is also in real time. With rowing, your split time is the amount of time it would take you to go 500 meters at the current speed you're rowing. For example, if I were rowing 1,000 meters and the display showed 230, I know that at my current pace, it would take me five minutes to finish that row. The lower the number, the faster you're going. The stroke rate and split time are the two most important numbers on the screen, and you'd be fine if those were the only two numbers that you know. Below the split time, you can see the number of meters rowed, your average split time for the current interval or workout you're doing, the distance in meters you've gone during the current interval, and your projected finish. In contrast, the all data screen is the simplified or large view, which can be selected by hitting the bottom or fifth button down. This will display the time or meters remaining, your current split time, time elapsed, and strokes per minute. If the all data view is overwhelming right now, try starting with this display. The second button from the top will bring up the force curve. This is an immediate graph that shows your power being applied. It's a great way to evaluate and improve your stroke. Ideally, the curve should look like a perfect haystack, even on both sides. The force curve will be covered in another video, but if graphs are your thing, you'll really enjoy working with this display. The third button will display a pace boat. If you program your workout to have a target pace, the target boat will move at that pace and you can use that to gauge your speed. The fourth button option is for the bar chart. In the bar chart display, the upper half of the screen shows your simplified view with all of your data, and the bottom half of the screen shows a graph that displays your power output in watts for every stroke. If you're connected with a heart rate monitor, the graph will show your heart rate in a new bar every 10 seconds. More than likely, you'll be using the all data or simplified view for your workouts, but know that you have options if you're looking for something different. Thanks again for joining me here on the Road to Fitness. For more information, you can go to the website at roadtofitness.com. And don't forget, push, pull, relax, and repeat.